Next thing that we need to do in creating our reflected ceiling plan of, in this case, this ensuite or a bathroom, is to add in more detail. We see that in terms of reflected ceiling plan, it's very, very boring. So what should we be showing? What do these gray boxes mean? Well, this should be showing a shelf or a ceiling. Now, there's a raked ceiling. In this case, it's a timber ceiling, a raked ceiling, CO. T, and then there's a flat ceiling which is created over the smaller areas which would be made out of a, a v-groove pine. So how do we better represent these? Well we can select them all, they're all slabs, we can group them all together and we can represent them better in the slab settings. Now again we don't want to do this just in 2D because then we couldn't have those same effects in 3D. So we want to represent them. We don't need it to in 3D at the moment to look like timber, but in 2D we want it to. So we can do that as a cover fill. So in our cover fill, maybe we then find a better type of fill pattern. So let's use this one called timber floor or something similar. Of course, this is on my settings. And we could use a gray, we could use a black. It's up to you. Um, I tend to like when I'm using a fill just to use a gray so it's not too strong. Is that is that what we want? Maybe. Let's group those together so we don't have to keep making these changes. It's very wide. It's probably too wide. We probably want it to show a little bit more like a timber baton. So how might we change that? First of all, always look for a better fill. If you've got the ability to find other fills, look through those first. We don't want to necessarily have to go back in and um, edit the fill. That's a, a more cumbersome process. So in terms of a line, uh, what would I be looking for? There's one here, this timber deck. That's a lot more closely spaced together. So we'll leave that there for now. We'll, we'll just assume or say that, yep, that's what we're after. And so we can see that that's now starting to add more detail. What's next? What do we need to show? Now, this part here is our ceiling. And what we also know is that in a reflected ceiling plan, we should be seeing some lines. We should be seeing the wall over the top of this wall. Now, how do we represent that? We can just represent that with lines. Typically, I'd be using ceilings. I'd be using these slabs to create ceilings, and that ceiling would create that for us. We could do that here, but it's not, again, necessarily justified because uh, there is a wall over here. We're just not seeing that way. And we do have the ability to change our drawing so we're seeing site drafting, building plans, ceiling. So we have this here as ceiling as well, but it's still not actually showing a ceiling. It's still not actually necessarily looking up. It's really just that we're using layer combinations in order to be able to look up. So control L, we're talking about a layer combination based on a reflected ceiling plan, and that's turning off a lot of the things that are seeing on the floor, such as fixtures and joinery. So what do we want to see? We don't want to see the toilet. We don't want to see the vanity. Um, there's a shower here. We're not seeing the seat of the shower, but what should we be seeing? We should be seeing a shower head. So we'll probably have, and in this case it could be an object, but it's a lot easier just to make it a slab. And so I'm going to create it as a slab under ceiling. So let's go ceiling mechanical fixtures. And I'll draw a box. Let's change this to give it a, a white fill. So I'll make this white and I'll make this white. Now, how big do I need it to be? This isn't really important for my 2D, but it's important to get it right for the 3D. And of course, it will show up in my elevation as well. So this shower head may only be maybe 10 mils thick. It's going to be how high off the ground? It's probably going to be about 2,000 millimeters off the ground. I, again, of course, I can adjust it later. And what's the material? Not really important, but maybe we change that now to just gloss white. We can change that later. Of course, it's probably stainless steel, uh, but that's not a big deal. So we'll leave it just like this for now. How big is it? Maybe I want a very large one, so we'll make it 300 millimeters by 300 millimeters. Now that's automatically showing at the front, which is great. And then maybe I want to center it in the middle of this area. How do I determine that? 
Well, I could use a few different settings. I could use this one here, half, and maybe it's half between intersecting points. So then when I hover over here, that gives me the midpoint, which would allow me to then drag to that midpoint. Let's try that again. Edit, move, drag. I took too long. And let's do it the other way as well. Move, drag. Great. So now we know it's in the middle of the shower. Of course, we could have found that maybe in a, in a similar way by referencing our drawing, but that's based on this box, which isn't necessarily correct anyway. So now we've got our shower head. What else would we need? Maybe we have a light fixture. Uh, are we creating that light fixture as a real light? Maybe. Let's have a look. So under more, we have our lamps. And we have different types of lamp objects. Let's extend this down. So we have light sources general, which is a good way of creating the illumination in our 3D model, but it's not necessarily a very good object. We have street lamps. Of course, I'm missing the obvious, which, of course, are street lamps. And then we have interior lamps. And these are the only ones that we have embedded in ARCHICAD, which we can use. Of course, we can download a lot, and none of these are necessarily representing what I want. In this particular instance, because it's a bathroom, I'd want some wall lights, maybe, maybe some down lights, and, and probably a heat lamp. I don't have that heat lamp. So, in other words, I'm going to need a, either need to download it as an object or create it. Create it maybe again using a slab. So I could do something similar to that. Move drag a copy, let's get this in the middle of the place, we'll do it in one go, that would be a bit smarter, drag a copy, and we'll make this one a bit bigger, so we'll offset it 100 mil that way, 100 mil that way, and we'll make this one a bit deeper, so we'll make this one 50 mils deep, and in terms of representing in a heat lamp, I could create this as an object, and that would be smart, and I probably will, but I'll start just created in, creating it in 2D. So we'll make this move mirror copy. Move mirror copy. And then let's create one right in the middle. So something like an IXL heat lamp is what I'm effectively looking at. Maybe there's a light in the middle and four heat lamps around the outside. This is just a representation at the end of the day. It doesn't need to be perfect, it just needs to be a symbol. So I'm creating something that's representing a light in my space. And what we're seeing is we're starting to build a reflected ceiling plan. This is what we're supposed to be creating. We're adding detail and then of course we're going to add in the lighting information. We're going to show the switching as part of this drawing because we can't see it even though we might have a lighting plan, there might be too much information here to be able to see it at this level. So I'd already created something here. You can see I've already got a, a symbol, which I, I was using. Uh, I'm at the moment now just making something maybe better. So there's a lot of ways to work on this. Uh, I'm not working on the full house in terms of the reflected ceiling plan or lighting plan at the moment. I'm wanting to work with you to create a bathroom one. Great, let's now update this, so we'll rebuild from source view, and we'll see that those things that we've just created are now visible in this view, and so we can keep repeating that process. We can work in the 3D model, the 3D model again based on a story, and then making only two-dimensional changes as are necessary to our detail. Now there's no reason really to do it in the 3D for 2D information, we can just use our 2D information directly over our detail drawing.